I don't think there can be a single person in the country who is not outraged by what happened. And you can see that on the street. Women's safety, crimes against women is an issue in, in our country. We say things to our daughters when they go out uh, late at night to ask them things. Do you, hum, you, know, do, you do that to your sons? Uh, regarding the uh, women's safety issue and the, uh, you know, the RG car case. Look, I don't think there can be a single person in the country who is not outraged by what happened. And you can see that on the street. Now, the, the fact is, uh, women's safety, crimes against women is an issue in, in our country. It is, I mean, it may be an issue in other people's countries as well. That doesn't uh, mitigate it uh, in us. So, uh, you know, I'm uh, reminded uh, in a way of something once the Prime Minister said. Uh, he said it from the Red, Red Fort. He said, you, all, I mean, he said, all of us, we give, we say things to our daughters when they go out uh, late at night to ask them things. Do you, hum, you know, do you do that to your sons? So there are, you know, uh, I mean, it's, it's really in many ways, it's a, often a specific issue, but there are larger issues. And that is why to me, you know, there are so many aspects to this problem. I mean, it starts with, first of all, the idea of, of uh, you know respect and equality and uh, uh, and in a sense the kind of non-discriminatory uh, opportunities which are given and I think you know uh, to ensuring today the safety and security of women is a, is a very very big issue and I don't think uh, I mean if you ask people what you think about it I think there would be a unanimity of opinion what is today ha you know happening there I mean, there are other aspects of it. I don't want to go into anything political outside the country. But, uh, you know, all I can say is, uh, I'm sure like you, you know, everybody in this hall, like me, would have that very deep sense of outrage and anger at what happened uh, to, to that doctor.